What's up, beautiful people? It's your favorite wig stylist, Jay, and I am back with another video. As always, this wig was created with hair from my collection. Let's go ahead and jump into the coloring. I'm going to use 228. T28 toner and a 20 developer. When it comes to toning, you always use two parts developer and one part toner. So that little brown bottle, I filled up twice with developer and of course the one time that it came with the toner. I'm gonna go ahead, mix that in, and then I'm going to use the watercolor method to be able to tone. The reason why I'm using the watercolor method is that I don't have to use as much product and I can tone the hair a little bit slower because of course the watercolor method dilutes it. The watercolor method also allows me to be able to watch the hair while it's toning. I didn't want the hair to be as uh, of a natural ashy blonde color that it was in my previous video when I colored the red hair for my birthday, which I will link in the description box. Um, so you're gonna see me now literally just doing the watercolor method really keeping the hair moving making sure that I'm watching it and how that yellow Barbie doll color is really starting to come out and I'm left with the white undertone If you would like to see a full video on my toning process I will make sure I go ahead and slip a card above so that way it can take you directly there And here we are, the wig has dried. I'm getting ready to go ahead and do the next color. But before, this is how you do not get stained lace or knots. You want to cover the complete lace with the got to be free spray. I usually do about two to three layers and I blow dry in between on cool. Now you'll see me prepping the hair for coloring. I like to separate the hair before I actually start the coloring process. It's a lot easier, it's a, not, a lot neater and cleaner for me. Today I'm gonna to be using Powder Blue and Lux Blue. Um, I just really wanted to try something different and step outside of my box. And I was a little thrown off because when I opened up these containers, like, it looked purple. You see the little thing right there? So I'm like, um, tell me that once this oxidizes with the air, with the wind, whatever you wanna call it, that it's gonna go blue because I was scared. Also, because I did not condition the hair after toning, you'll see me put some conditioner inside of the coloring just to give the hair some oomph. I don't want to dry it out with the processing that I'm gonna be doing to it. Y'all already know, before I try any colors, I love to do my paper towel test. It really gives me an idea of what I'm gonna be working with. And once again, it looked purple. So I said, okay, let me go ahead and try that again. I'm over here playing with it. And then I'll start to see, like I said, once it oxidizes, it is gonna go the blue that I was looking for. So I can breathe easy because your girl was scared. For this look, the back of it is going to be this blue color. I'm gonna do about four ma tracks maybe. And then I'm also going to do just the roots of the hair blue as well. So stay tuned and just watch the process. As you can see, I'm being very generous with the color. Don't be stingy. You don't want the coloring process to come out blotchy. Like, just be very generous with the color. Always make sure to really look at the wefts to be able to tell if the wig was double tracked. If it was, then make sure you separate those tracks when you are coloring to make sure that the coloring is evenly coated all the way through. Take your time because you do not want a blotchy dye job. Trust me, you're just gonna look a mess, atrocious. If you do not have the time to color, hire somebody to do it, do it on a different day, but coloring takes time, so please be patient. And then here, you'll see me just combing through, adding more color. Like I said, be generous with this, and then make sure that there are no blonde patches. People often forget to do the underside of the track. They just automatically just do what's on top. Make sure you get that underside. And this is what I was talking about before, how the wefts were doubled. So I split them first and I did one track and then I went through and I did the second track as you see right here. Please, please, please remember that you do not want a bad color job.
Once I am completely done with the back, you will see me take my gloves off and put on a fresh pair for me to start doing the root at the top of the wig on the lace. Please remember that dye literally gets everywhere even when you think that you've cleaned up, so it's a lot easier to just change your gloves. When coloring lace, I like to use the comb side of the edge brush. It gives me a lot more control. If you can use a different utensil, then by all means go ahead. But for me, the edge brush, the comb side gives me a lot of control of the hair, of the dye itself. And then you literally just take small strokes and you literally paint the hair. I don't really get too close to the root the very first time through, because I do do this twice. The first time I literally just want to get the color onto the hair in the right spacing. And then the second time through, I get a little bit closer to the lace itself. Depending on the technique that you are using to color, it can take a very long time and it can be pretty tedious, which is why coloring can be so expensive. So just, if you choose to do it at home, just wait for a day where you literally have time. When you got time today, then that's when you sit down and you do this. I did not want this video to be too long, so off camera I did finish the coloring of the roots and then I also did chop up into a bat, into a bat, into a bob. Um, here's the peeky boo color in the back so you guys can see what that looks like. If you would like to see the install process as well as me chopping the wig up into a bob, just let me know. Oh my gosh, what the freak, man! <laughs> just let me know down in the comments, guys. Clearly, it's late at night. I need to finish up this video. As always, guys, like, subscribe, share, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend. See you in my next video.